so I'm just at Walmart and I found this a little bit out of place, but uh, it's not even the end of January yet. We just released our first whole patrol. 15 bucks for that. I'll take it. I mean, what is this originally like 60, 70? So for once, I actually found good clearance. It's, it's been a while. I was like, this looks out of place and I scanned it and I got good clearance. So now I'm just gonna like scan all these that looked a little bit out of place. All right, and the only deal was actually this one, which is a set I don't really like, but uh, 25 bucks. What is this usually, 50, 60? Eh, I'm not gonna pick it up, but still pretty good deal for 563 pieces, but it's not a set I particularly want. Cinderella's Castle is pretty cool though. I ended up doing pretty well there, just shaving 15 bucks off my $90 Patreon payout for January, which also has the $5 from the last episode added on. With February just starting, I have a worry that after Christmas clearance will be ending soon, so I'm going to this fancy Target that's about 30 minutes away. Let's see if I find anything good. And it looks super fancy, so let's see if there's any deals. It's like a freaking amusement place. It's just, there was a whole parking lot, a whole parking garage. It looks so fancy. The Target is like crazy to traverse out because it's one of the biggest Targets I've ever seen, but I have a feeling we might have some clearance with this hidden behind here. Not marked up. Elves being a dead theme, so let's see. Let's see. Huh, okay, so I was right. I mean, 35 bucks. Half off, I don't, even, I don't know if it's worth that. I don't know, I think I might purchase this, but there was a whole bunch of them there. I mean, it really isn't a bad set, but uh, like, you know, I just wanna save my money for if there's something more interesting. All of these architecture sets would be so great on clearance, but you know, they're still full price. But uh, yeah, you know, maybe if it was 70% off, I'd get it. But I guess that's it for this Target. Goodbye, Soto Target. I mean, you look so elaborate. I mean, look at how big this Target is. It's crazy. I actually going to check out the TJ Maxx, which is right here. Sometimes TJ Maxx has Lego, so we'll see what deals we can find. The only Lego I found was uh, Cyborg and Finn Brickheads. This one's six. And the exclusive one, this was a Toys R Us exclusive, is four. I don't know if Toys R Us sold some of their stock to TJ Maxx, but... Not a bad deal, though I only already own him and he doesn't have too much interesting pieces. Also this Duplo set for like, I don't know, 16 bucks, not really the best deal out there, but yeah. So no clearance deals that attracted me at those places. Hopefully I didn't miss the good stuff. All right, so I just woke from a nap and I found this article by The Brick Fan. The Brick Bank is on Amazon right now for regular price. You don't understand, the Brick Bank was retired back in November. While it wasn't my favorite modular, I've been trying to collect them all, and I just missed out on this. Problem is, well, that totally goes over my limit. So I have an idea. What if each year I get three tickets that I can use to buy any item? I can use this during a particular auction that rocks, and if I use them, I can't buy anything else for the rest of the month, and none of the extra money is added to the next month. I just know that if I don't buy this Brick Bank now, I'll have to pay double the price for eBay in the future. I think I'm gonna go for it. Really the only clearance deal we found this time was Cinderella's Dream Castle, which was a fantastic deal. I'm so stoked to get that. It is a set I was interested in before, so I don't know if I'll build it right away, but it could definitely be used for pieces, if not a pretty interesting display. But if I do end up getting the Disney Castle set, which I do want to get eventually, this one's kind of obsolete in that aspect. Either way, this bad boy arrived today and we're filming in the big box corner. I haven't filmed in this corner for a while. Oh. There she is. And I'm, I'm looking forward to building this. I still have like three modulars I have to build at this point. They just keep adding up. I'm going to do the diner very soon. Then I'll probably do this next and then maybe end with that uh, palace cinema. Oh crud, I actually have four I gotta build because I still have the, the Grand Emporium I got a few months ago. Oh well, I'm way behind on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hull Patrol. I wish it was more exciting and long, but I'm gonna be honest with what I found. This episode was brought to you by my lovely Patreon supporters shown on the screen. If you want to do something a little extra and see that spending limit go up the next episode, consider supporting me on Patreon by clicking on that card where I also post weekly channel updates and polls that you could vote in. And let me know if I can improve this series in the comments below. What parts you liked, what parts you didn't. I'm open to all feedback. Either way, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.